Hello Capricorns, it's Ariana, your Tarot Life Coach. I hope you guys are doing fantabulous, enjoying the holiday season and being surrounded by friends and family. So guys, this read is a little bit different. This is going to be your mid-month check-in, but also a um, guidance for saying goodbye to 2016 and saying hola 2017. We embrace you with the year of the one. So guys, with that being said, this is a general read, meaning I'm focused on the general energies that are coming through with the message of the cards. Also, with that being said, if you would like a personal read, please feel free to email me at arianaluciano at gmail.com and I will be happy to give you more details. These reads that I'm doing, the ones that I'm doing today, usually run about 35 to 45 minutes in a video read, meaning that you will get your power number, your power animal, a mind, body, soul read incorporated with how to deal with the energies of the year coming in with lots of clarifiers. Okay, guys, now that that's out of the way, let's jump into our read. So you have the horse leading you for this year. This is your power animal, and this is about the power to change, leaving something behind, breaking free. This is wild freedom. Mutual respect and awareness is needed in, these, in this coming year. The power and wisdom is found by uh, remembering your course and understanding that there is a new journey on the horizon. Ask yourself where you're feeling constricted. Do you need to move on? And what do you need stamina in? And use the energy of the horse. This is also about an increase in clairvoyance, meaning that you are going to have, um, your intuition is going to be on point this year. So follow it. This is also warning you of possible dangers. Remember Tonto and those, um, what are they called? Oh my goodness, I just went blank. Old Western uh, shows. My great-great-grandmother used to make me watch these. And he'd like put an X or tap the tap his foot three times if there was danger. Yeah, those are the kind of things that you're going to be getting. Messages like that. So uh, personal drive, passion, and freedom. Also, you know, the Italian stallion. So you might be having an increase in sexual energy. Um, and whenever we see a horse galloping, it represents ecstasy and wild freedom. Another thing about the horse that I found interesting is when its master dies, it actually cries. So there is a profound connection between the horse and, um, and man. The horse was the one animal that helped man travel, helped man move things along. It helped in civilizing us, uh, causing civilizations to be built. Okay, so this is a very powerful animal. This animal is going to help you build your new life is the way I'm looking at it. Now, it's trying to build it on truth. And I feel that you are surrounded by spiritual influences this year because of the spirit of truth. You have two spirit cards as your oracle cards. And I feel like you are really trying to work on your spirit house. Some of you this year are going to change the way that you view your spirituality. Okay? Hold on. There is a noise in the background that is bothering me. I'll be right back. Sorry, I could just hear something go, and it was driving me insane. So, uh, with that being said, I want us to understand that truth is what's going to... Oh, this is... Truth is really is what's needed, is what's needed. And as I'm getting tongue-tied, it's something that's been um, avoided lately. So, it's either facing the world with your eyes wide open and seeing things for the way that they really are, or this is accepting the truth of how it is, Okay. With that being said, let's go ahead and pray over our deck. A little bit of warning, this is going to be a nine card read. So we'll be doing three cards at a time so that I don't mess up on your read. <laughs> okay guys, that's like three little mini reads. And then I'm going to put the cards to the side and give you intuitively what I see. However, bear with me. All right, let's pray over our deck. St. Satil, bless these cards and show us the energies that you have coming in for Capricorn for the year of 2017 as we move on from 2016. Give us clear and concise messages and help us to see things with guidance and an open heart. Archangel Michael, please come in and remove any lower fear-based energies that we have going on. Clear the room. Use your... Use your sword to cut off any energetic cords that tie us to people, places, and things that no longer serve our higher good and help us to release them also. Archangel Michael, we also ask that you cover us in your purple light as we go through this read and protect us. Archangel Raphael, I ask that you give supernatural healing to those who need it. 
mind, body, and soul. So it is. Okay, Cappies, some of y'all are not satisfied with your work because this is the three of disc reversed and the seven of wands. You're going to have the courage to walk away. Some of y'all are in a three-party relationship and you're about to walk away. Others of y'all are just ungrounded. And I, I was really getting the ungrounded message when uh, I was looking at your oracle cards. Okie dokie. And that is it. <laughs> it, doesn't want to, it doesn't even want to budge. Okay. We're going to go with it. I'm going to move these to the side. This is your opening message. How to achieve your goals and dreams. And the action to take. Interesting. I feel like muddy waters. I don't know why that came to my mind. So opening message from the guides is... There is a situation that you have been going through. Recommendation just from this card as a seven of arrows would be to seek uh, therapy, would be seeking help. And not that you're crazy. Don't take it that way. I'm not diagnosing you. I'm saying because you've been surrounded by lies, sabotage, foolery, trickery. Someone's been pulling the wool over your eyes. Whether this is work or whether this is love, this is you running blindly into things. And that is why the horse is telling you to use the spirit of truth. See things for what they really are because you're either lying to yourself or having some, or listening to the lies of someone else. How to achieve your goals and dreams? Some of y'all are dealing with an earth sign. And you see how Gilgamesh has his foot on top of the Taurus? I'm telling you, it's time to pull back. Watch your words that you use, however, because this card is indicative of um, offending people. The five of disc is like almost like you feel like all by yourself because this is where he loses his best friend. This is um, Gilgamesh. He loses Enkidu after this fight. Now, the thing is with this card, like when I'm looking at it, I see three on top and two on bottom. I feel a division is going on. So how to achieve your goals and dreams is maybe to be a more unified front as a part as opposed of, of splitting things up due to harsh words, to put it nicely. Actions to take. You need to get about this place, okay? It's the six of wands. And it's saying travel, movement, let's go. And if you look at this as like sabotage and lies, and this guy, Latarik, with the six of wands, He's a breeze. So I feel like he's coming in like saying, hey, 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 you're going down, ladies and gentlemen. I got the truth. That's what I feel like he's saying. However, he's coming in with his little sexy self and he's going to wreck shop. And that's the action to take. You actually have to bring the truth. And those torches have lion heads also. So I think that you need to harness the energy of the lion also. So your next three cards that you are getting is going to be departing last year. Oh, man. No more love? What? This is your new year. And this is your future opportunities. Okay. Now it is loud and clear. So, last year, you thought you fell in love. I'm going to read this two ways. Please don't, please don't shoot the messenger, my friend. Happy? You fell in love, you got married to an Aquarius, and you've been cheating. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. You've been a cheatering, or they've been cheatering on you, okay? That's just for a few people out there. For others, you thought you had love last year. I think it's that song by Roxette. It's in my head. This could have been love, but it's over now. Should have been love, but we lost it somehow. So your cup of love was last year and you received it. Now this is the next message I'm getting. Your New Year's theme is to cut through the bullshit. Enough is enough. You need the truth. And when you see the card, she's gonna, that arrow is going to be shooting up into that five of disc. Like she's like, oh, hell no, not anymore. And this air sign, and this can be you harnessing the power of the queen of arrows or this can be a queen of arrows coming in wrecking shop for you this year. Okay, she's not going to play with you. She doesn't have anything to hide and she sure as hell doesn't have anything to lose. She is a dangerous enemy. Okay, but she's upright. 
So Ishtar is going to bring some love too. So if you look at it, it's almost like two aces next to each other. So you have the cup of fertility and the queen of arrows with the ace of arrows, which is significant to the, um, I was going to say something very disgusting. Signet, it's a phallic symbol. And um, I feel like it's a fertility issue. Okay. Now the two of disc being reversed. To me, this is always a two people relationship, especially when it's reversed. Because I got one little alien in front of the other one looking at staring. And the wheels are going in two different directions. And I look at the wheels as two little eyes trying to spy. And they're saying, oh, everything's okay. It's all good. But it's not good. So I feel like that's what needs to happen. There needs to be some balance. Your earth cards have both been reversed so far. So your earth-like energy has been off. You have not been grounded for the year of 2016. And that's why you've been running into these booby traps with the seven of arrows. We have to ground ourselves. And grounding comes from the root chakra. Uh, there are different ways to do grounding from the root chakra, but if you're going to align your chakras, guys, you need to start with the root because that's the beginning. So you need to feel like you belong. You need to feel like you're lovable and you need to feel like you're grounded, like your feet go down into the earth and you can stand tall. So with that being said, I want to see what this queen of arrows has for us. So I'm going to lay out your other cards before I mess them up by shuffling. And I'm going to put your overall energy to the side. And let's see what if the Queen of Wands could talk for next year. What is she getting down to the nitty gritty? Okay. Bam! <laughs> the Queen of Arrows is going to find out that there was a third party lurker. They was on the lookout. Something was going on. And this might not even be love related. This could be work related. Because the Three of Wands, this is Gilgamesh. And he's looking over his cité after he went looking for something that he thought was for him. I mean, he went all around the world looking for this plant, right? That gave everlasting life. And as soon as he was going to reap the benefits of his travels, he decides to take a break in the water and go for a swim. And guess what happens? He loses the plant. The snake eats it. So he has to bring his little Mary tail home empty handed. And this is when he's looking out over his city and realizing, damn, I did have it all. What was I thinking? So, yeah, some of y'all are going to come back home and realize, damn, I did have it all. What was I thinking? And for others, you're going to get caught. And then for some, you're going to be like, you know what? This relationship with this queen has been a nightmare because this is also uh, bad memories, okay? So with that being said, I have the six of wands and now I have the three of wands. So you see how it's getting cut in half? Remember when I said with the five of disc, it's a splitting of money. It's a splitting of people. I feel like the playing field is about to be split, okay? Oh, <sighs> Sorry. I, I feel like I'm doing loom and gloom, guys. I promise I'm not trying to give that to you. Now, as we move on to the next three cards, we have your obstacles for next year. The talents you will... Oh, that's a good talent, guys. And um, your parting message from spirit, from your oracles. Your incense is going crazy, guys. And this was your overall energy. That seven of wands has a story for you. Okay. There's a lot of y'all that need to walk away from something. So, <sighs> obstacles and how to overcome it. Your obstacle is going to be healing from the cheating or healing from a situation that broke your heart, hurt your self-esteem, made you feel a little low of blow. Okay. The reason why I say that is here we see the lion and the four of arrows. This was right after the three of arrows. And the three of arrows is usually the wounded, it's the wounded lion in my card. And he has the three arrows in him and he's hurt and he's crawling away. And this one, if you see, he's sitting here and he's watching all this stuff pop off and he's not reacting because he knows he's got to get those roots to go a little bit deeper with the tree. Those thoughts got to come up and in and those arrows are raising from him. And what I find really interesting is like he's looking at it and he's not being moved by it. Because he knows it was something he did. 
So this is either you or the person you're dealing with. They know they did wrong. And it's an obstacle, so they're going to pull back. For some, if you're dealing with the four of arrows and the other person, they're going to step back for a while. But don't worry, they'll be back, okay? And for others, this is you saying, I need a break. I don't know what to do. I need to think about it, okay? Now, the talent you will express is you're going to learn some new skills. This is the Eight of Pentacles. This is you learning new things, going to school, getting grounded, this is actually heeding the advice of others because you see one guy's looking at the stars and the other guy's writing it down. So I kind of feel like this is you looking at your hopes and dreams and wishes and saying, you know what? I want to do that. I want to do something different. So that's what I'm going to try to do. And the other person's like, okay, well, I'll help you do it. So I feel like you're not going to be doing this alone. Whatever skills you're learning, you're going to be learning them with somebody else. Now, the party message on how to approach the next year. I have the King of Cups, and he's reversed. Now, the King of Cups reversed is someone who's always saying, it's okay, I'm fine, that doesn't bother me. And inside, he's like a roaring river ready to pour out and drown everybody. This is about you getting your emotions under control. This is you dealing with somebody who needs to get their emotions under control. But since this is the party message, I feel like the King of Cups is saying... You remember you, you had the Ace of Cups and that was what was from last year. Now your cup is empty. You have poured into the wrong person or the wrong relationship or the wrong job and you do not feel like that. you're very happy. For some, the King of Cups is saying, sometimes it's, not, it's okay to say you're not okay. All right, because Cappies, you try to hold it together no matter what. And as I'm looking at your read, I only have three pentacles. I have a feeling that this was a year that was very ungrounded for you. Next year, you're going to be working on your grounding again because you have the Eight of Pentacles. And those are the skills you're going to be showing. And if you notice, there's someone helping you to look to see who needs to be left and who needs to stay. Because this is you getting help and that's you walking away. And that's the overall energy. And you're walking away from somebody who makes you feel like you live in a living hell because that is Ishtar walking away, getting out of hell. So there's a situation that you feel that you are in hell. And the, and the message for you is to walk away. The, the way I see it, and I'm getting like a bunch of different things for, for a different reasons. And when I lay all the cards out, I'm going to give them all to you. I want to see if the King of Cups could give us any message about... How to approach next year. What would it be? What would be the message for Capricorn on how to approach next year? Bam. Justice needs to be served. Which, oh, which side of the justice are you on? Um, some of y'all will be experiencing... A divorce, and the only reason why I say that is as I look at the cards right now and I flip them over, it's the Four of Wands reversed. Uh, justice needs to be served. If you are being the one who's been done wrong, justice will be served and you'll be walking away. And that is why your cup is, is um, turned over. Now, if you were the one um, bar stooling it up, that's the way I want to call it. I don't want to even say doing the cheatering. If you were the one stepping out and doing something you weren't supposed to, be advised that that person will be walking away from you. And that is why you will take a break and you will learn some new skills. So I know that's not a very promising read. And I'm I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. Um, but I feel that in the end, it's what you needed because the horse is telling you to see things for what they are. And like I said, someone's lying to you or you're lying to yourself. And Cappies, you guys are the most grounded people that, um, the most grounded of the earth signs for me, I feel. But this time around... I don't feel very grounded as I'm reading your reading your read. I kind of see a lot of um, enlightenment coming in because a lot of the colors are yellow. And as I'm looking, I see yellows and oranges. And um, and to me, that's light. Like the light bulb is coming on. You're starting to see things. You're starting to realize some, some ain't right. Something's just not right. So I'm about to lay these cards down. I'm going to put up your oracle cards. But... I'm going to tell you what I see when I have all the cards in front of me. This is um, how I prefer to read. 
So usually when you get a personal read from me, you face me because I like to look at the cards all together in a big spread because even though I follow spreads and stuff, I get different messages when they're all laid out. So as I'm seeing this, I have the seven of arrows, the queen of arrows, the king of cups with justice, and the seven of wands that are really sticking out like a, in a diagonal. So there was lies, treachery, sabotage with an air-like person or a person who um, is cutting through the bullshit. The three of wands is telling me that there was some spying, some lurking, a third party, um, a third party involved. Now I have a water sign here with the king of cups. It can be Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer, or anyone who is a highly emotional person who is seeking their justice. And if when I when you see the picture, you're gonna see the queen and the king are looking in the same directions, but not eye to eye. And your cup of love, it's it's not going the right way. Justice will be served. Somebody will be walking away. But no need to fret. You're going to be all right. There will be healing with the four of arrows. New skills learned with the eight of disc as you move on into your six of, uh, your six of wands. Now your two of disc, in order to get that two of disc to turn the other way, there has to be the six of wands and the seven wands must occur. That is victory travel movement. Okay, once that occurs, sorry about that, it's not, not even, once that occurs, you're going to see that both cards have you walking away from something or walking towards whatever it is you want. That is going to make your two of disc turn upright, which is about relationships, dualities, and balance. The five of disc, as I'm looking at it, it's tied to this eight of disc. In order for your five of disc to transform and move, you must learn new skills to do more to gain money. Because you're stuck doing the same thing, it's time to harness creative energy in order to make more money. And that might be having to get up under somebody and learn new skills. It's okay. Everybody has to start somewhere. So those are just the other messages that I'm picking up. I also feel like your ace of cup, even though that is from last year, you're going to learn new skills and you'll get it back once you heal because I have a little triangle there. Um, so that is what I'm picking up for you for your energies for 2016 and 2017. I know that's quite a lot, Capricorn. And I know that's, and some of it isn't very exciting and happy and like, oh, you're going to meet the love of your life. No, but justice is going to be served, baby. And if you've been getting the, the shaft, you're about to get the good stuff, all right? So also I wanted to tell you that I see the queen of arrows shooting right right up, just by the way I have it, right up in between the lies of the seven of arrows and the five of disc. So this queen of arrows ain't going to play, whether it's you or someone else, she's about to cut through all of it. And that could be why the king of cups is reverse seeking justice. So in order to deal with these energies, I have the spirit of earth. And this is why I was telling you, earth sign, you aren't being very grounded, Cappy, but prosperity is blossoming in all areas of your life. You are strong and grounded. Who you are is enough, just as you are. Connect more fully with nature. And this is how you can work with the energy that we just read, okay? Now, ask, the earth asks you asks that you tend to your health. So this is a year of your health, Capricorn. Detoxify your body. Understand how to use its physiology. Pay attention to how your body feels and responds accordingly. Create a home for your soul. Have objects in your home that feel good to you every time you see them. Be present in the here and now. That means moving towards what it is you really and truly want. Trust that all your needs are being met and take time to create spaces in your home where you feel absolutely at peace. And in doing so, you create a template for peace in all areas of your life. Okay? Let the reality of your relationship with the earth feel your consciousness. That is the big thing. Earth signs, a lot of times you have to reconnect with earth because that's how you regain your groundedness. I feel like you really want to be grounded. You really want to feel like you belong. You've been feeling a little king of cuppish, okay? But that, that justice is about to come through. And like I said, the four of wands is just looking at me and that's why I'm saying somebody's family celebrations aren't going to be very family celebrated after a while. <coughs> the spirit of water is coming through and saying... Trust your intuition this year. Know that you're on the right path and take time to nurture yourself. Allow your inner child free reign. 
Believe in your dreams. Don't give up, okay? Purify and cleanse yourself in your home. Healing is on its way. That's that four of arrows. Emotional healing and energy is expanding within you, Capricorn. Okay? So I feel like that's what's really going to work for you. Trust your hunches. Push off from the shore and enjoy the ride, Cappy, because it's going to get better. It has to get better. And I hate when my friends tell me, oh, it has to get better. I'm like, ugh, when? when? I'm not a Capricorn, but I, I'm, I'm just saying like when they tell me that. And then I get on my little moods and, and I'm like, oh, I got to go. <laughs> However, this is looking like a year of transformation. Let's go ahead and see what your number is. Oh, wait, you have two sevens in your read. So that automatically tells me that somebody is lying. You have some people in your life, Capricorn, that have not been being very honest. You might want to look at this air. Well, I would say the King of Cups because it's reversed because the air sign is cutting through. So there is a water sign around you or an air sign that's not telling you the whole truth. And that's why you're seeking your justice because you know that something fishy is going on. Okay. Now, the those are the only prominent numbers I have going on. Okay. Let's see what your number is for the year. Where did my dice go? I got all these cards everywhere. Where is my oh there it is? Okay, guys. So I had a viewer suggest that I add the top and the bottom number together. So let's see what is your ruling number for this year. The, but the year is the year of the one. But this is what I'm coming up for the Capricorn energy. How can they work with the year 2017? Six, seven, eight. Okay, so you got an eight. Eights for me are infinite possibilities. Things are going to change. Things are going to a better getting a better movement. I'm trying to look at my notes. This is manifesting wealth, inner wisdom, and abundance. This is success. Even though it looks scary, you will be successful because you have this justice. Think about the number eight. It's the number of, it's the sign of infinity. It's the, it's, it means that you are moving and grooving in the right direction. Think about the Eight of Pentacles. You're learning. You're growing. You're not so much ready to move on because it's not the Nine. It's not a clearing of the energy. But you're learning how to work with the energy to manifest your wealth, your love, and the life that you desire. All right, guys. This is your read. I hope you enjoyed it, Capricorns. Like I said, Roxette is just playing in my head. This could have been love. But it's over now. And some of y'all are all about that mighty dollar. All right? Because <laughs> you're going to get it, damn it. You're like, it's enough of being broke. I'm going to get it. And you do get it. At the end, you do get your justice with your money. And that's you walk into the bank. All right, guys. Big love. Lots of hug, Capricorns. I pray blessings on you. Happy New Year's to you and your family. Thank you for being a part of mine. Thank you for your support, and may you be blessed this year.